Hey class, so we are going to do a few things in QGIS. First, let's start our new project. And let's add in some layers. Let's go to layer, add layer. Let's first add in our CSV layer, so delimited text layer. We will navigate to our ENST 456 folder from our desktop and data sets subfolder lights out umd csv and hit open the first thing we need to do is assign the x field as longitude the y field as latitude and the coordinate reference system you'll remember from our previous video that this was wgs 84 and it has not been projected into any projection system then we hit add and close let's verify we are around the University of Maryland campus by adding in our street map and moving it below within the layers. And yes, it's in the right place. Now we're gonna add in our roads layer. So we go to add layer. Remember it was a vector layer. So points, lines, and polygons are all vectors. So we added that vector. We browse over to our roads subfolder go to the shape file. Remember, you have to have saved all of these files into the same folder of called roads in order for this to open up. So we click shape file, we hit open and add. It's going to ask us to verify the coordinate reference system. Uh, we downloaded the roads shape file from Tigerline, which used um, a Global, global coordinate system of NAD83, and it had not used any other projection system. So in just a little bit, we are going to tell it, we are going to assign it to that reference system. So let's see if it loaded, and indeed it did load. We see those primary and secondary roads. Then we're going to add in Another vector, this time we will add in that boundary shapefile that we created from Google Earth. So we navigate to that ENST 456 folder, the UMD boundary KML, we open that and hit add. And this is that big boundary we created. Last, we will add in our raster. So we go to add layer, add raster layer, we navigate to our NLCD subfolder and we click on that image file open and add so all of these layers are using a different coordinate reference system we want to use utms and specifically uh, zone 18 because our project lies within the state of maryland which is a pretty narrow longitude so we are going to project to utms all of these systems so first we have to tell it the coordinate reference system and then we can project it so let's right cl click on NLCD Maryland, that uh, NLCD layer. Let's go to set CRS. So set the coordinate reference system. And this was WGS and this was Albers. They had projected it over to um, Albers equal area conic. So we, um, you can either type in USA contiguous, albers, equal, area, conic. As, as you start typing in more and more, it'll start coming up. And then hit OK. And then we can cancel. And then for the boundary, set CRS. So this was using WGS84. And hit OK. Those primary roads, primary and secondary roads from Tiger Line were WGS um, NAD 83 and OK and cancel. Lights out, we'll set that CRS as WGS 84 and hit OK. So now we have set the reference system for each one of those layers. Now we want to project it into the same projection system. To do that, let's get our toolbox up. Let's go to processing toolbox. And that pulls up our toolbox and we can start typing in project. And for our vectors, we will click on this 
under vector general, we'll click on reproject layer. And then for our vect, I'm sorry, for our raster under GDAL, we will click on assign projection. So let's go in order of our layers over here. So we'll start with our raster. So assign projection. The input is the actual raster itself. The desired CRS, we want to click on that little globe CRS icon. We want to start typing in UTM space 18N. And we want to get over to UTMs. And this raster had been set using a datum of WGS84. We'll hit OK and we'll hit Run. Then we'll close that. Now for the rest of our layers, they're all vectors. So we will click on reproject layer. Let's go in the same order as our table of contents, the layers. So let's first do the boundary, the KML boundary for target coordinate reference system. Again, UTM 18. And this was based on a WGS of 84. So we click on that one and OK and run. Actually, I missed one step there of saving it. Let me do this again. I'm going to remove that reprojected. I'm going to remove that layer. I apologize. Let's try reproject layer again. We want UTM boundary KML file for the target coordinate reference system, UTM zone 18N based on WGS84 datum, hit OK. For reprojected this create temporary layer, let's create a permanent layer. So let's click on those three dots, save to file. Let's save it in our ENST456 folder. We will call it UMD boundary underscore UTM. So in this step of all the layers, we're going to save everything as underscore UTM so that we are confident we projected it into UTMs. So now let's reproject. The next step is our roads layer. So let's click on our roads. For target coordinate reference system, roads came from Tigerline, which used a datum of NAD83. And we want to go to UTM zone 18. So now we will click on NAD83. OK. And we're going to save it to that roads shape, I'm sorry, roads layer, the roads subfolder. We'll call this roads underscore UTM and hit save and run. Then the last thing we want to project are the points. So the lights out UMD points. So we'll select that for coordinate reference system. Again, let's type in UTM 18. The datum was WGS 84. Hit OK. We're going to save it to that data set subfolder. We're going to call it LOUMD underscore UTM and run. Great. So now we know all of these layers have been projected into UTMs. So let's remove the layers we don't need anymore. So let's remove. Ah. Let's remove the primary and secondary roads by right clicking and removing also the original lights out and the original boundary. Okay, so everything left has matching projection system of UTM. Now, we will remember that some of these layers are the entire state of Maryland. And our project for this assignment is only to save the data that's within our University of Maryland boundary. So now we want to clip the data to just that one shapefile. So we will type in the word clip in our search bar. And for vectors, this is called um, clip. And then for raster, it's called uh, mask. So let's go under the vector overlay. We'll go to 
clip by extent. So extent meaning how large you want it. So let's go first with our lights out points. And for the extent, we want to use the layer called the Universe Maryland boundary that's in UTMs and hit OK. We are going to save this file in our ENST 456 folder under data sets. Now we're going to call it LOUMD, so it lights out Universe of Maryland, UTM underscore UTM underscore UMD. So in this part of the assignment, everything we save is going to end with underscore UTM underscore UMD. So that will indicate it was first projected and then clipped to that shape. We'll hit save and run. We'll do this again. We'll extract. Now we're going to extract the roads to the extent of our layer, the Universe Maryland boundary layer. We will save it back to that roads shapefile folder. We're going to call it roads underscore UTM underscore UMD and hit save and run. And now, so we've projected and clipped our roads, our Universe Maryland points, the lights out points. Now we need to extract the vector. So clip vector by extent. Actually clip vector by mask layer. Let's click on that. Oh, I'm sorry, we're doing raster. Um, clip raster by mask layer. So double click on that. For our raster, we will go to the NLCD raster. For the mask layer, that Universe of Maryland boundary. And it's already been projected to UTMs. And to save it, we will navigate over to that file with our NLCD folder. And now we will call it NLCD underscore UTM underscore UMD and hit save and run. So now all of our layers have been projected to UTMs. They've all been clipped by the University of Maryland boundary and they've all been saved under our ENST 456 folder. So next week, we will start doing further analysis. But make sure you at least can get through these steps. And then I would close out of the project. Make sure you can import these back in. And remember, every time you import a layer, you have to tell it whether it's a um, delimited text file or a raster or a vector. Now, what we projected our points, our CSV file with the original points of the Lights Out project. We um, projected it and we clipped it. So now when we add it in, we'll be able to add it as a vector. So all of our layers, we will be at, able to add in as a vector and our NLCD, we will add in as a raster. So just make sure you're able to go through all of these steps correctly and you'll know you did it correctly when you close out of it you open up a new key GIS project, you add them in, and if they completely overlay on top of each other, then that will be great. Another thing you can do is look at the source of right-clicking on each of these layers, going to properties, and you can go to source. So there's symbology, there's a lot of other things we'll play with later in this uh, semester. But when you go to source, you'll see that that source had been set to the UTM. So this one was done correctly. And let's check our roads, properties, hit cancel here, and then go to source. And again, UTM zone 18. So we did that one correctly. Lights out boundary. Let's go to properties, source, UTM, and the lights out. We did lights out, now the boundary. Properties, source, UTM. So we successfully projected every one of these layers. 
So if you have any questions, I'll be available at uh, open office hours or we can make a private time to meet. So I hope you found this helpful.